All right, uh, we're going to go through the workflow real quick of how to take an inventor design and put it into the laser to be able to cut it out um, on the laser. So right here at my puzzle piece that I'd like to create, I've already created an inventor. So the very first, uh, or the next step I need to do is put this into a drawing sheet. So if it has already been um, created, basically all we have to do is go over to inventor, I, new, choose GoHawk title block, cancel out that, come up to our GoHawk title block. First thing over here in the browser, we're going to right click, delete that, delete that. Now we have a white screen. From the white screen, we can put in our base view. As you can see, that doesn't show me the, the correct orientation. In this case, top view would be a good cut top view. So go ahead and place that in there like that, making sure it was one to one. It was. So as we take that out right here, we have this set aside. From here, we're going to go to the inventor eye again. We're going to do a save as. I'm not clicking on that. I'm just allowing it to pop out. I can come over to save copy as. Save copy as allows me to save it into different file formats, different types. DXF over here is this right here. And I take this DXF and I go to options. So DXF options for the laser. We want this to be AutoCAD 2010, 2010. So that's important configuration finish from here. It's going to say, Hey, where do you want to save this at? A good place to save your stuff would be kind of over into the public drive. So as I, as I come through, you know, if I look at my options right here, I got a lot of stuff, but if I find public on here, you'll come into the public drawing and you'll come over into uh, not in the high school, but all the way down to ready to cut. Come into ready to cut. Come on over to uh, the laser folder. Whatever teacher, you should have a class in here. For this class, it's intro to CNC. I'm going to call this puzzle piece and name that with my name, Benham. And save that. DXF is now ready to go. Saving. Come back into Corel Draw. Open this up right here. I've already opened Corel Draw X6, as you can see. We'll go to File, Open. From open, we can have lots of different things. I'm going to go ahead and open, um, go to that public drive as well again. Ready to cut, laser. In this case, I have one right here, new 2014 laser template. I can open that up right away. This is the stuff I put on here. If you'd like to use it, you can. If not, all you have to do is highlight the whole thing with a box and hit delete on the keyboard. From here, file, import. Go ahead again, find the public file. Ready to cut, laser, Benham, intro to CNC, and find my file, puzzle piece Benham, import, bring that over. It should, I believe, everything should be okay if you just keep it like that, I believe. We'll find out. And there it is. Very important that you do not move the boxes on this, right? Do not move the size of this thing. You don't want to do that. Why it's highlighted, it's exactly the size that you want. You're going to come over here to the side and you'll find red, 255, red. Very important. What I'm going to do is right click on that, right click. Normally you left click. This is a right click. Also, I'm going to zoom in a little so you have an idea to take a look at this. From over here, you're going to change the thickness. The laser needs it to be red, also needs it to be hairline. Now, here's what it looks like if it's a four point, very chunky. <laughs> click over here to hairline outline. That's the ticket. Once you've done that, I recommend telling people, hey, go over here uh, to the arrange icon and lock this object so you don't mess it up. And now that you do that, once it's locked, you know, there's nothing, nothing you can do with it. To unlock it, because say maybe this isn't the right place that I want it to go, I would highlight that thing again and I come over here to arrange and I go unlock all objects. That allows me to click over here. Drag it to the upper corner. This is the zero location, by the way, of the laser. So whenever I put something in the laser, this is where I put it to. Put that up there, and now if you like it where it's at, you can lock that object. Now, no matter what I do, I can't change it. Okay? Um, that's basically the best workflow that I can show you here. If you would like to uh, do anything else as far as putting uh, something on or importing an image onto this thing, Feel free to, you know, find yourself an image on Google, something like that. I like to pick uh, the GoHawks. That's what I do. And you can resize that, move that thing around as needed. You can put that on the center of that 
puzzle piece. As you can see, I can do that. I can double click on that again if I wanted to rotate it. I can do that. If I wanted to put words in, I just click on that and I, I'm like, go Hawks. It's another thing to do. You can resize it. You can double click the font, change it up here. Click back over here to move things around. There you go. And once this is done, you're still in the template file. So your last step would be to save as. Again, Benham. In this case, that's Benham. Intro to CNC. Instead of the new laser template, this is going to be Benham Coaster. Save. That would cut that one instance. If there's anything else, say I need four of these, I could highlight them all. Highlight the whole thing. Control C, Control V. Oh, I got to back up for a second. Sorry about that. If I want to do all of them, sorry about that. If I want to do all of them, I remember I'd have to unlock this thing real quick. Oh, arrange, unlock all objects. And I'd have to highlight everything. Control C on the keyboard. Control V is paste, and now I can slide this whole thing over, and I got that. I can do that again. Control C, Control V, bring that down again, and now I got these nested into. I can click and drag. These rulers do not cut, by the way. They're kind of nice, kind of handy feature. And I can get this whole thing in a little less than an 8 inch by 8 inch piece of material, and I could get four coasters. That's pretty cool. You can also click up here to drag this down if you want another ruler for whatever. You can click, left click, and hold that over if you wanted another ruler for anything else. Click the ruler, hit delete on the keyboard. That's how you get rid of them. Um, but as you can see, it's a great way to be able to check things. And this would create a file, save, to make four coasters go hawk style. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Any questions, uh, feel free to see Mr. Ryerson, myself, or Mr. Elon Hop. Have a great day. Go Hawks.